Hi, what's up? Uh, I don't think I'm doing book review this month, sadly, because I kind of uh, fractured my elbow. Uh, and plus, I've been busy this whole month. So, uh, instead, instead, I'm making a dog video slash top five, and I'm gonna rate my top five chihuahuas. The world needs to know my top five. I am the Chihuahua expert. I have seen the dark web for all the information that I needed. I spent countless hours of my day researching this topic. I went to the thrift store to find research. I literally found a book about Chihuahua and a guide to Chihuahuas and their species. I think I found the answer to the top 5 chihuahuas. Five. Number 5 has to be the purehead chihuahua because it's kind of like an applehead chihuahua. I always get them mixed up but the purehead chihuahua is kind of more looks like a little alien <laughs> running around. <laughs> They're adorable. This is my experience with them. One tried to like bite me and when I was like an eight year old and that was the fastest I ever ran in my life. <laughs> Not a good time. It's number five because it dramatized me. Okay, number four has to be the long hair chihuahua because they're hard to maintain but they're really cute. I love his hair. He's soft and everything. But to trim his hair constantly and to check if he doesn't have fleas, it's just an annoyance. And from a kid, I mean, other than that, they're one of the most adorable dogs. Why does he maintain it? It's not like I'm preparing a car. Number three has to be the short hair chihuahua because it's the opposite of the long hair chihuahua. And it has short hair. So, short hair equals more easier to handle. And plus, uh, my whole life I grew up with short hair chihuahua. Except that they're kind of, they're sometimes, they're stereotype of Mexican families. And I understand why. Because uh, it's like the meme. The, it happened to me before. I was playing my video games and then, uh, you know, as a gamer, you're like hearing, then you hear a chihuahua in the background while your mom's playing the cumbia mix. <laughs> it's just funny, the Mexican house typing. Yeah, I just found this funny. Uh, number two has to be the apple chihuahua. And I know this kind of contradiction to the pure chihuahua being number 5. But the apple chihuahua is kind of a little bit more adorable. And plus it's, it has a cool name. It has an apple head chihuahua. And I feel like that dog can headbutt anything. And it will break it. But i never seen one do it yet. But I feel like it it's such a, it has such a big forehead. And I love it. Number one, my number one pick, my number one pick, my number one, my number one has to be hmm, the teacup chihuahua. Obviously, it's just the ador most adorable dog in the world. It fits in anything. It literally has a teacup. It can literally fit in a teacup. That's, That's crazy. Which other dog can do that? None can compete with the teacup chihuahua well, and they're really small yeah and all around whenever i see one i'm like wow i just get like butterflies in my stomach i'm like that's so adorable i want to pet it it has like an aesthetic too where you like you can carry your dog in your purse type aesthetic that's so adorable too i love that perfect dog if you want to fight me over my top five, uh, just 
leave it in the comments, I guess, if you want to. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to make more s dumb videos like this, and I think for me, I just love making dumb videos like this. Not really serious. Thank you for watching. And one more thing. Uh, I dedicate this video to my uh, dog Chubbs. He recently passed away, and I was kind of very kind of sad throughout this month uh, that he passed away. And uh, it's been a lot to take in because we barely got him like a year ago and he like recently passed away and he was still a puppy and I was just saddened when he passed away. So it, it made me not become as active as I usually am so sorry about that. Uh, but yeah I just really want to make this video for Charles Mosey. Because Charles made me happy throughout this year. And just having him around, he's the most adorable dog ever. And in reality, he's going to be my number one dog in the world forever. No matter what other dog, Chubbs is my number one. And I love you, Chubbs. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for watching and listening to me. I'm really grateful all around. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.